Well, what is up, people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Hansel Gonzalez, and this is Moho Fishing. Once again, uh, we are gonna we're gonna fish. It's a Monday. It's uh, it's not Easter Monday like our last uh, video. Uh, big difference. Uh, there's barely anybody here, so we're gonna fish off of uh, my buddy's boat right here. It's the uh, the 2015 uh, sea, uh, sea Hunt BX24 BR. And uh, we'll see what we can do today. Uh, we're gonna launch this bad boy. I'm gonna launch him real quick here. And uh, we're gonna make this happen. Uh. Cool, cool, cool. Seeing the water, seeing the water. Let me get them unhooked here. And life is good. He goes where he goes, no one will know. Oh, yeah, look at that beauty! It's a beautiful. Definitely not crowded over here. Uh, Today, which is good. I mean, there's there are some trailers out here. Uh, this guy is parked over here. Let me see. I gotta find a better one over there somewhere. Got the parking ticket. Gonna have to. Uh, Get the, uh, the the annually parking ticket here. Um, I don't know if it's still worth it. Um, oh, every year I debate whether to um, whether to get one or not. Um, I think for right now it's it's worth it. You know, just to uh, to pay it. So, all right. Sorry for the noise on my Crocs, <laughs> they're wet. And uh, here we go, the, the tide is high. It's a high tide. Um, I don't see, it doesn't look like there's any bait here at the ramp. And uh, here we go. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Nice. Well, so far it looks pretty smooth over here on the front end. So, here we go. All right, peeps, we just got here and uh, we already got a couple bites. Uh, we put the shum in the water, uh, as you guys can see. Uh, there we have a shorter fishing guy over there, which, which is probably pissed. Um, he's probably saying, how in the world this skinny Cuban guy got these numbers? Well, you got to do your math. You know, you got to look at your, you know, the maps and stuff like that. You got to study a little bit and then, um, you know, you can find new places. So this place right here is lit. I'll show you guys real quick here. There's some stuff on the bottom. My, uh, 
my friend right here, Dick. How many, uh, you got some bites, buddy? Yeah. All right. One. Nice, perfect. So we got a, a little lane and um, we're gonna, you know, right now we're shumming the waters. We bring them from the bottom. We get them active and stuff like that. So um, we're gonna keep shumming the water for a, a minute. And uh, so today we got some, we got some ballyhoo, we got some shrimp again, and we got some squid. So let's see what works, you know. And uh, right now, oh, we got a bite. It's um, probably about one foot shop with occasionally a couple footers. All right, he's hooked on. He is hooked on. Let's see what we got. Nothing fat, nothing big, nothing small, you know. Little lane again. That one is probably just very legal, but we're gonna let it go. We're gonna try to uh, we're gonna try to go for the bigger ones. There he goes, down, down he goes. Where he goes, no one knows. I heard that once before. <laughs> so let's keep on trying here, and uh, yeah, life is good, huh? So far, so good. So far, so good. You know what? Let me try it with the uh, slow pitch jigging. So. This is what we call it slow pitch jigging. This is a um, a uh, this is a uh, what do you call it? I'm trying to think of the brand. I can't believe I forgot already. It's a goofish rod. Goofish rod. I got a uh, thirty. This, uh, this is probably about a forty gram uh, pink jig. It's actually a sixty uh, uh, pink jig. Uh, it's made by Ocean. I believe here it says Ocean Cat. It's one of uh, one of the pioneers of uh, slow speed jigging uh, uh, lures, along with some others. So, pretty much in this technique right here, you let it go all the way to the bottom. Sometimes you you have a bite, uh, you know, going to the bottom. So once you hit the bottom, you're gonna jig up just like that. Oh, I got a couple bites already. Jig up just like that. And the jig will slowly would drop, uh, simulating, a, a, you know, a fish dying or a fish that, that is injured, and that's where, and that's what is going to get you the bite. Right now we're working with about 40 foot. feet. Oh, I got one. About 40 foot feet of water. Let's see what we got here, folks. Oh, look at that little lane. There it is. Oh, look, you want your shrimp? <laughs> uh, this is the same lane that he got. Uh, there you go. Little lane. Look at this, buddy. I caught the same fish you caught. It's your shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you didn't have a shrimp? No. No, I'm... Wait, you're not listening to what I'm saying? <laughs> you're right next to me. That's okay, man. You're focused. That's good. I like that. So um, once again, we're going to send it back down again. It's amazing how, you know, these techniques are so effective. Um, when I initially started doing uh, slow piece jigging, I was a little skeptic about it. Uh, my brother, uh, the reef donkey, uh, he is the one who initially uh, got me into this. And uh, he loves it. You know, he does it all the time. Every time he's on the boat, he, you know, he... He really doesn't care about you know having uh, any kind of bait on the boat. He has a, a whole assort, assortment of these uh, jigs, and uh, he does all his fishing with his jigs. Whether it's you know um, 40 feet of water where we are, whether it's 60, 100, um, obviously it depends on how deep it is. It depends uh, uh, the jig that you're going to use. So. So some jigs are better than the other. I usually like the uh, the white and pink stripes. For me, it works good. So all right.
the shome line is working pretty good today. The water might be just a little tiny uh, warmer than the last time we were now, where that block of uh, shum was not breaking, breaking apart at all. That's how cold the water was. All right, it looks like I did got another one on the. So right now we're catching, but uh, you know, a little short of a lane snappers. They're probably about you know a legal size, eight inches. But you know, how much meat can you get out of eight inches uh, lane snapper? So. We're gonna we're gonna target those uh, bigger ones. Right. So there you go, folks. That that was uh, slow pea chicken. So oh, we got a nice one over there. Also, a little tip. For those who are initially starting out with fishing, um, when you're gonna put the hook, if you don't have one of those uh, hook placement uh, things on the on the rod, uh, put it where the eye, the, the brace, not inside the eye. Um, I guess they call it the guide, because eventually you're gonna nick it with the uh, with the hook, and then obviously your line is gonna get uh, you know abrasive and then eventually it's going to break uh, when, once it rubs it. So put it just on the frame of that uh, guide eye and that will be just perfect right there. All right. So we are definitely getting some action here with the lane snappers. Let's see if we can get something uh, that is worth to put in the cooler. All right. We got some action there. What's that, buddy? I got that other rod hanging out. What we got here? Blue runner. Blue runner? All right. Let's show the people what... Uh, there's people out there from Europe, what a blue runner looks like. So this is a, this is a, our type of, uh, some of the pelagics over here. The blue runner right there. It's uh, not very edible. I mean, everything is edible, but it depends how, you know, what you really like. So but that's mainly a, a bait fish type of thing. So, blue runner. All right, guys, so we got some visitors here. Looks like they're, uh, looks like they're nurse sharks. It's gonna be a little hard to see on the video, but they were huge. Oh, we got some other fishes back here, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, looky there. Right there. Right there. Some other fishes around there, around them. No, I couldn't. I couldn't see. You. All right. Well, that was uh, that was something else. So, oh, yeah, there they are. Oh, come on. There they are. Three of them. Oh, it. Swimming right towards us. I'm gonna put it under the water again, so you guys can see that. 